hey yummies welcome back to our channel if you're new please go ahead and be yummified by clicking the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video to my returning savvies welcome back my yummies i appreciate and love you all so today i'm low-key doing a continuation video of the second last one that i did surrounding or about um underwear sexy underwear especially for my big booby girls and from that topic obviously came uh, measuring knowing your right size etc etc so i'm going to try it in the comfort of my own home so you can take tips and try it at home as well I'm not exactly sure about the accuracy of it but i do know that the same way that they do it online at the comfort of your own home is the exact same way that they do it in stores in the stores that i've tried out so if you want to watch all things how to measure your boob size or bra size rather stay tuned and let's go <laughs> time i've always been um what's this a band size my band size has always been between 38 40 and now for a bit of 42 i'm quite small on uh, my waist type of situation like like the back the, the waist area the under bust area is quite small so i normally have a smaller band size right and obviously the girls are like really big so the cup size would always be bigger but what i've also found uh in my journey of trying out different bras and different brands etc etc is the fact that i discovered that i could go a band um higher and decrease the cup size or decrease the cup size and go a band lower those things come into place and the only way you're gonna know is to fit fit your clothes ladies and gentlemen fit your clothes i always say this in this channel that you have to fit your clothes otherwise nothing's going to be cute you're going to be disappointed um yeah if you're shy of being in fitting rooms just go ahead and buy the item and go fit it at home you can always return it obviously it's a diff different situation with panties because those you can't bring back in most stores but with bras you can definitely do that i'm so nervous i don't know why so what you're gonna need is a simple mirror measuring tape um i actually wore this as a <laughs> a belt for my yellow outfits for the seven day seven yummy looks i'm gonna put up the picture here so that you see and i thought it represented something so powerful which is um size does not determine your fashion sense or your style i mean duh hey and with this i thought it was such a arty way i felt like yay yay i'm that girl like like i'm very creative <laughs> okay measuring my bra size etc um i played around with the um, search um words and the one that i used to use when i used to try um looking at information about um bra sizing was the south african website but i just forgot what's the name of um the website now but i came across one from bras and things it is international so we'll try that and maybe a different one to just see how accurate they are so this one that we're trying is bras and things in the uk and it states that Hold. hey guys can i forget that i'm blind um what if we told you there's a perfect bra out there for you a bra that doesn't slide off your shoulders doesn't dig in where it shouldn't or create back fat you don't have to uh, struggle with that a bra that feels like you're not even wearing one at all okay such a bra does exist mm, nice and our specially trained bras and things fit experts can help you find the perfect fit right and they say you need to measure then around the body 
directly under, uh, underneath your bust so this is where the, the bra cuts and then on top of your uh, boobs where it's the fullest part of your breast and then there's a size calculator that's going to determine what bra size you are so the under bust is here as you can see right and then over bust is where the bigger part of your boobs is so let me try let's start with under bust it's in centimeters which is absolutely amazing so centimeters is right here okay it's going to be impossible for me to show you guys exactly so i'm gonna gonna have to just trust my <laughs> my don don okay let's see that is 104 so let us slide the girl she is under bust is 104 this is so cool 104 so there you go i've selected her to be 104 right now for the over bust this is where you need to wear a bra for this i wasn't wearing a bra but i was like you know what let me just change to something that will accommodate this youtube video <laughs> so yeah now we're doing like this part i'm literally so close this part at first we were here this is the under bust this is the over bust this is where the bigger portion of the boob is you see that so now that's what you're gonna do make sure it's not like low at the back like it shouldn't be there it should be where your bra strap usually is can you see that cool so you take that oh and by the way um wow sis bras and things um has been considered one of the expert in bra measuring size and don't don um of all the places that i've been to i've been to willies i've been to i forgot the other one and bras and things and they're very, very strict about you need to get the right size when you go there. They'll even ask if you want to get your bra um, size measured and stuff. So I think the fact that we're using their website is accurate. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah. Centimeters over bust is, oh my gosh. Like I low key don't want to hear the news. Because I think a lot of us are very in denial about the fact that we probably we probably like a bigger size than we think that we are. So even on the YouTube videos that I've watched of people trying on bras, they say the exact same thing. They're in denial because they don't want to hear you are a G cup, you're an H cup. Because those one, they are very hard to find. But two, they're very hard to find in like sexy looking bras. And then three, they're expensive. So you're going to be in denial. You're going to be wearing the wrong size. But okay. Um, let's see. Over bus is 123. Oh, we're about to find the news. Oh, 123. Yo, guys, that's, that's big. That's big. <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's big hey oh. Oh. <laughs> hi well guys apparently i am a 46 c that makes no sense absolutely no sense whatsoever i do not accept this I do not. 46C? Nah, B. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. We're going to take the same um, measurements and put them on a different side because I refuse to believe. 46C? Hi, boo. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> oh, yes. Here's the side. I was talking about the South African side. It's satin candy. They also sell bras at yeah you just have to budget for them um uh, but they have really 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 nice um bras so with satin candy's website 
let's see what they say underpass was 104 right same thing and then overpass was 123 right so that's satin candies one same thing honestly never mind my raggedy nails it's just that i i just feel like they'll tell me a different thing you see here they say 44d guys oh my god okay you know what they said what what did they say um they said browsing things said 46 c right. so satin candy sounds 46 c browsing things says 44 d this is very confusing for me because i always thought like i'm a bigger cup size and not a bigger band size but the fact that they they almost correlate because the c and d are not so far from each other and um and so is a band size in fact it's 44 46 or um it's 44 d or 46 c that makes sense because remember when i told you that when you go when you go a, a cup bigger this one is d you can get 44 which, which is obviously lesser than 46 and then when you get a 46 you can get a small cup which is c so i guess i'm both sizes guys i'm shook i'm shook i'm shook i'm shook i didn't expect this but you know what i like is that band sizes are not a problem in finding bras in south africa it's the cup size the cup size is the cup size is always the issue because uh you don't get g's and h's and um so anything beyond an e and f is still in the middle that you'd find an affordable price so i'm like yay okay i mean it's fine <laughs> but i didn't think i'd be like a c or d that's mad crazy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go try on or buy a bra that is either a 44 d or 46 c and come back to you and let you guys know how it fitted or maybe do a vlog when i go try it out because we need to put this testing to the real test i hope you're going to try this at home please let me know what sizes you've um come up with all you need is literally this measuring tape so go ahead and try it out comment down below what you think your size is and once you've tried this out i'm going to link the two links down below and tell me what are your true sizes based on the test that we just did and enjoy i can't wait to see your comments and just what you discover i love and appreciate every single one of you bye Yo, content 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 Ibula Lulucha. The content is killing the youth. Nah. But my hair still looks good though. So it is what it is. <laughs> you see, now we're talking. Content creation. Bulala Ulucha, guys. Yo. Ha uh ha. -uh. Okay, this better be a flattering angle, Jesus. Um, okay, must run.